Oh man, guys, that was so incredibly awesome. What a great excursion. Tons and tons of turtles. I mean, tons of turtles today. Got some great spearfishing in. Got a couple of parrotfish, a couple of surgeon fish. So we're gonna cook that up in here in a little bit. Um, barracuda, jellyfish. I mean, it was... Hang on, I'm getting ahead of myself here, aren't I? Hey guys, aloha. Welcome to Maui Napper. Today we're gonna do a little bit of spearfishing. So today we're gonna do a little spear fishing in this reef here behind me. Conditions look pretty good, so I'm very hopeful. Joining me today is Michael from Awesome Blue, a channel uh, here on YouTube that uh, I think you'll really enjoy. If you haven't checked them out yet, definitely check them out. Also joining me today is superstar YouTuber Asa from Ace Video. He's in town, What's so on, he's joining us for a little spear fishing today, and if we can, maybe some whale watching, whatever, uh -huh. whatever works. But uh, anyway, we're all excited to get in the water. We're all itching for it, yes. so. Uh, I haven't been spearfishing this whole time. I've been here like three weeks, haven't been spearfishing yet. It's so. a shame, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go get him. Let's get it. Water started off a little bit murky. A lot of times in this area, it's really murky near the shore because of all the silt that's stirred up so easily was really hoping that it would get better as we went further out. I'm not sure why I noticed this double scorpion fish off to the side. They're so camouflaged. Their wing-like fins are so cool. They're just like little warning signs. Whether or not I catch anything, it's always just such great fun to wander the reef. It's like swimming in some giant aquarium. It's so awesome. Michael spotted his parrotfish, so he dove down for a good shot. What an awesome shot. After Michael and I went our separate directions, this barracuda suddenly appeared off to the side. And then another one, and then another one. There were nine different barracudas that all popped up at one time. It was crazy. I couldn't get very close to them. So cool though. came across this parrotfish and it was getting used to me so I went ahead and dove down on it and got a great shot.
It wasn't a very big one, but it was big enough. This type of parrotfish only needs to be 10 inches long. Sometimes with this type of parrotfish, you can hang around and let them get used to you being there, and then you can dive bomb down on them from above. But if they're not used to you being there, then they're gonna take off. Great shot. I saw this pualu or surgeon fish wandering around and looked like a great shot. He tried maneuvering a little bit, but he didn't take off. So I stuck with him and finally got my shot. Great fish. Ace is headed down the way a little bit. Probably shoot turtles or <gasps> something. You know how he's always eating weird things. <laughs> Just kidding. If Ace is going to shoot a turtle, it's going to be like this with the camera. <laughs> Don't see many black surgeon fish like this one. It was dodging some of the other territorial fish rather than me. But it made for a tricky target. But finally I got my shot. It was a good shot too. I saw something kind of bright off in the distance a little bit, so I swam over and I realized it was a jellyfish. And all the many, many times I've been in the water, I've probably seen four, I think. I don't see many jellyfish. Anyway, this one was so cool. I had to dive down and just check it out up close. Isn't that just amazing? Well, I guess it's time to head on in the shore and do some cooking. The water clarity was sometimes great, sometimes not so great, but uh, got some good catches, a couple of parrotfish, a, a couple of surgeon fish. We're going to cook up one of those here in a little bit. Let me get out of this wet shirt, get rid of the spear gun, put on a dry shirt, grab a spatula. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and fillet it. Brought my knife with me. It's good when you bring your supplies, right? <laughs> I hate when I forget something. I put the other ones in a cooler. We'll have them later on. All right, let's get this filleted. Oh yeah, beautiful. That's pretty decent. Other side, there's where the spear went in. <laughs> it is so much easier to do a fillet on a stationary counter than it is in the grass or sand at the beach side. But this isn't about precision, this is just about a little something to eat. 
There we go. Now this part, yeah, definitely is easier. <laughs> definitely easier on a flat, hard surface. So these little roll-up mats, definitely not ideal for filleting fish. This is definitely no, <laughs> no showpiece here. Oh man, this is like the worst fillet I've ever done. All right, maybe this one I'll do a little better on. You ready? All right, here we go. Yeah, this mat, because it moves, uh, just, you know, you don't have a flat surface, so it just curves with your knife. And, as I said, hardly ideal. So, there's our meat. Not the prettiest thing ever, but let's go ahead and cook this stuff up and try it out. Cool. This will break a nice little spot to set up the stove and cook the food. Make this more or less level. Yeah. Let's see, I guess we'll get the, uh, the burner going first. So, let's see. I've never used this camp stove before. The guy I bought it from gave me a real quick rundown on how to use it. Unlock. There's some in there, that's good. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright. It's locked. Uh, <laughs> apparently that also ejects. This stuff. I wonder if that's supposed to happen. I don't think it is. What's going on here? <laughs> All right. It's working up a good sweat here for dinner. Prefer. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I remember that. This way for storage, this way for cooking. All right, yeah, no worries. Okay, well this is not supposed to be very fiasco-like. <laughs> okay, there's flames. <laughs> Alright, uh, where were we? Alright, we got a pan. And this is not totally level. Now it's better. Sort of better. Don't go anywhere. I got a little butter. Always bring extra just in case, right? All right. All right. You can see that that butter is melting nicely. So, put a little bit of garlic powder in here, I think. A little bit of onion powder. Turn that down a little bit, I think. Yeah. I've got some of that uh, cherry gold butter in there. This stuff is so good. All right. A little bit of cayenne powder. A little bit of salt. All right. Here we go. I don't usually handle meat directly as much as I am right now, but you know what? It's cooking at the beach, right? I ain't gonna wash my hands off again. <laughs> because it's what I do. All right, I like to uh, season both sides a little bit. I'm gonna do it this way, I guess. I wish you could smell that. Can you smell? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip this over. May have overcooked a little bit. 
But you know what? That's okay. Oh no, this is this is looking so good. Mm. All right, that's looking pretty well done. I think we'll uh, squeeze a little bit of lemon in there and dish it up. Oh man, look at that. That is so, so yummy. I mean, take a look. Yeah, all right. All right, so there it is. Man, that is so good. The cayenne on there has got a nice heat to it. That garlic and onion powder. Make a nice little zesty on there. And that lemon. Man, lemon is so good on fish. I don't know if you do that. I typically don't for some reason, but I've been urged to lately. I'm so glad I did. Man, that's good. That is so good. All right, well, I'll try not to talk my mouth full too much here. Don't tell mom. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining today. I had a great time. Hope you did too. Definitely check out Michael's channel, Awesome Blue. I'll have the link on here and check out Ace's Ace video. I mean, both of them are so great. You're gonna love them. So take a look and please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever new videos come out, which will be more oftener. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for joining. That ought to do it. And uh, I'm gonna consume the rest of this fish. I might even just do it in one bite, you know? Uh-huh. Don't tell mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, see you later.